Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. It is Sunday, the very last day of February. I cannot believe that tomorrow is March 1st. I'm not complaining, but man, January and February just seem to go... I don't know. It's just like there's never enough time in the day. Honest to goodness. It's a wonderful, rainy, gloomy... Bleh. The rain's washed away. Quite a bit of the ugly looking snow. And um, hopefully, I'd love to say that's the end of snow, but there's been snow in May here at times. So I guess I can't be saying that. So I'll zip my lip and just be happy with what we have. All right. I hope everyone's doing well. What I have for you this evening is basically a shopping combo haul. What I have here is I have a few more items from Walmart. Not one item is over, uh, I just said bear with, not one item is over a dollar. I have some items from Dollar General. The most expensive item at Dollar General is $3. Everything is $3 and under. And then I have a just a buck haul and that is everything is one dollar so i'm going to start with walmart first um walmart is completely easter related there's really not many items but i just wanted to show because i was looking for these when i went to walmart the other day and i couldn't find them okay so this was the repeat on the bunnies these were the i'm just going to show them again for those of you that maybe didn't watch my other video this is a two pack, it's 98 cents, and you get two Easter pom-pom tags. These are so cute. I mean, I literally, and I think a lot of other people would as well, pay the dollar just for one. So what you're getting are these two bunny tags, and this is, um, you know, you it's stiff. I mean, you could bend it if you really, you know, went down on it hard. It's stiff. You could really bend. Okay. Blooper. Oh, my God. Okay, we're keeping it real here. So, you just don't want to, you know, it's got some thickness to it is basically what I'm trying to say. The bunny's only on one side, but is this just adorable? And then you've got these three little bunny colored balls here. You could hang this on a package. You could hang it on a box, on a bag. Let me just give you a measurement. I'm just showing them again because they're so adorable. All right, they measure at their widest point four and a half inches, and their tallest point is four and a half inches. Also, they have this little loop right here, which you could hang the bunny from if you chose to, or you could do something completely different. They are just adorable. And I mean, two of them for a dollar, can't pass it up. And Easter stuff is flying. I was texting with someone last night, one of my subscribers, who said they went into their store and all the Easter stuff was already wiped out and gone. I was like, oh my goodness. So she was going to have to rely on, I believe, her daughter to pick up Easter stuff for her in a different county. Next item, 98 cents. These are mostly all by the same company, which is called Celebrate, and that's kind of like Walmart's version of their stuff. This is what they call table scatter. Now, just because this is table scatter doesn't mean that's what you have to use it for. I get this stuff all the time. For those of you that get um, happy mail from me, friend mail from me, will usually see something, you know, inside of their package. Usually I put, try to some, I, blah, 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 blah. oh my God. Usually I try to put something in the package that has to do with like unicornies or donuts or something that's about me. So, to make a long story short, that I made a blooper, this says table scatter, but you don't have to use it as table scatter. These are so cute. First of all, when I send packages, sometimes I'll pop a few little things like this in there, or mail somebody a card, or you take a little hole punch, put a hole punch in it, hang it off of a gift box as an additional tag, hang it on your Easter tree as ornaments, okay? You're also going to get, besides the bunnies, you're going to get these eggs. Now, for a measurement, two inches. 
Okay, so take a hole punch, pop it right through the middle there. You wouldn't even have to do that, but you could to make it easier. And if you wanted it really pretty, take a small hole punch, punch it right there, put some pretty ribbon, like I showed you the pink that was on the bunnies. Why can't you hang these on your Easter tree? There's absolutely no reason why. So I try to look at things and try to come up with all the different things that I can do with it. And I try to pass those ideas and suggestions to all of you. And most of you seem to enjoy that. Some of you don't. But you know what I say? I can't please everybody. So I'm just rolling with it. Rolling with my know me homies. All right, this is also by Celebrate. Pretty much everything I have left here is going to be by Celebrate, which again is by Walmart. This was 98 cents. I showed some Easter egg wraps, and then I saw this one was completely different. Let me see if I can just open this package here because the packaging is not going to do the product justice. You're going to get 12 Easter egg tattoos. And all you're going to do is you're going to dip them in water and rub them on the eggs. But what I thought was so cute is look at what they have. So you're going to get two sheets. So you'll get 12 stickers and you get two of each of one of these designs. Aren't those adorable? Perfect for Easter eggs. You can also put them on anything else. You don't have to just use them for Easter eggs. It's a rub on which means you could put it on anything you want. It doesn't have to be just on an Easter egg or an egg to say. All right, let me just pop this back in the package here real quick so I don't end up losing that because I have quite a bit here on my bed. Okay, I think or I hope you're seeing a theme here. Let me pull a couple things back out real quick. Where'd my bunnies go? Okay, so here's the first bunny tag that I showed you and then I showed you these small bunnies so you see how we got the same bunny going on here I love that Walmart does that because for me I like everything to like just like throwing a themed party you know I like the napkins the cups the yeah you know the paper plates the the tablecloth the straws the scatter I go nuts when I do parties um especially when my daughter was little okay 98 cents, you get 10 of them, and they're paper straws with an attachment. They got the Inca bunnies on them. Aren't they cute? Again, take a look. We've got the same kind of Easter bunny. Aren't those adorable? And you could do so many things with this. The first thing that I thought of when I saw this was, you know what? I can take one of these, just trim the straw. I probably cut like three quarters of this straw off and use one of these in one of my full cupcake toppers for one of my Easter Ray Dunn cupcakes. I don't know, something to think about, but it's again, just thinking about not only the best bang for your buck, but utilizing that best bang for your buck and getting multiple things out of one thing that you purchase. I found, oh no, you guys are gonna kill me. Um, I found a couple stickers, just a couple, don't get crazy on me. The first one is 98 cents. And it's a pack of 24, and oh, look at the bunnies. Are they just adorable? So I had to go and grab them because they're just too, too cute. And then this is going to be the only thing that doesn't match out of everything from Walmart. This is same company, though, 98 cents again. And here's just some more Easter bunnies. They're 3D, so they've got some, like, foam underneath them so you can see They've got some height, so they stick up quite a bit. So these would be fun. And look at the purple one and the pink one. They're all beautiful. This would be fun if you were doing some kind of crafting because they're, they're foam. And these, again, were 98 cents. And then uh, I found some chap... I love lip balms, chapstick, all that kind of stuff. This is the first time I've ever seen chapstick. These were 98 cents as well. And this one is in cotton candy flavor. And I'm always wearing chapstick because my lips are always super dry no matter what I do, especially in the wintertime. So it was fun to see cotton candy. So I got a couple of those and this would be perfect for an Easter basket. Cotton candy, Easter bunny. Okay, so I did a video today of my Valentine's Day items. Now, 
under the circumstances, if you follow my channel, you already know what I'm talking about, so I'm not going to go there. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I didn't really get to do much um, with Valentine's Day under the circumstances, but I did want to share the decorations that I had gotten done because not only did I put a lot of work into it, but I wanted to share with all of you because I had been talking about what I was going to do and it was like, oh no, no one's going to You think I did it and I did, but I, everything that was going on with Clue, you know, it was just too much for me. But today's the last day of the month, so I technically got it in. I just didn't get it in on the 14th, but I always like to say better late than never. So if you didn't get a chance to catch that video, it's about nine minutes, maybe eight minutes and 42 seconds. I'll put an eye in the sky and you can check it out. Um, just wanted to put that out there. So my tree that's all white will now go from Valentine's Day to Easter. And I went to a Walmart the other day and um, I had to go to a different Walmart because I was in a different location. And I'm so glad I found these because I was just hoping that they had these. These are called picks. And for those of you that are crafters know what picks are. If you don't know what a pick is, a pick is basically some form of a decoration that goes into a plant, into, uh, this is a pick. <laughs> it's basically got wire on it and you use it for decorative purposes. These were 98 cents each. So, and there's a lot going on here. Okay, so first of all, let me give you a measurement in length. If you were to try to score one of these at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, nine and a half inches, baby. If you tried to score one of these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, honestly, you'd be looking at probably $5.99 because that's about how expensive they are. I, yeah, the 40% off is great, but their prices are already so high. You're, and then you take the 40% off and you still think you're getting a great deal. I kind of like to say, okay, you have a product that's on sale. People tend to say, oh, but it's on sale for $20. No, you're not saving $20. You're just not paying the extra $20. Get what I'm saying there? So it could go either way. Think about that one. All right, so this is a pick. And this one happens to have a blue Easter bunny, a pink Easter bunny, and a yellow egg with some grass. And then at the bottom attached is, I'm just going to call this what, it's an alligator clip, roach clip, whatever you want to call it. You can also get these in the store. They sell these clips, alligator clips, roach clips, whatever you want to call them. They sell these at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. So you could make one of these yourself if you wanted to. But by the time you buy everything and put it together, to be honest, you're better off buying it. It's just easier and faster. So what I do is once I get them, they're usually like smashed up. So I take a moment, you know, and I bend them around a little bit. I kind of see what I want to do. And then I like to, I don't want the grass all up in one corner. So I tend to spread the grass around a little because I like it to fan out more like this. So sometimes, now here's how it looked when I first opened it. This is just a different one with different color. So here's when I first opened it and here it is now. So sometimes you just have to go past the front cover. You can't judge a book by its cover. What I do is I take these, obviously that's just the tag, and I use the clip and I insert these down in a downward way inside the tree for this to stick out. So what you're doing is, I think if you watch the video, you'll see some of the hearts that stick out of the tree for Valentine's Day. This will be the same thing. So I picked up a few different picks and these are all the same. There's a two bunnies and an egg, but they were just in different colors. So these were the colors that I was able to find. There really wasn't much. So I'll have four of the bunnies and the eggs. And then, oh my gosh, these are so cute. <laughs> they are adorable. So here's what it is. Can you guys guess? I know you know. I know you know what it is. They're bunny ears. Let me give you a measurement on these. These are nine inches. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Here's your alligator clip, whatever you want to call it. 
So now let me straighten them out. Give me just a second to fix them because they just come all smashed up in the boxes. So, and then I'm gonna fan out the grass some. I just kind of grab it and, you know, not too much, but so look at these. Oh my God, they're so cute. Look at the bunny ears. What's also cute, you can use these on besides doing decorative trees. Say you're gonna buy somebody an Easter lily and you can take one of these, cut the tag off, just take the whole thing, stick it in the dirt by the front of the Easter lily or clip it on some of the foil paper or clip it on the actual plant container itself and let it stick out. It's just a little bit of to make it jump. I got these in several colors. There was pink, there was yellow, there was blue, and I thought I saw a green one. Maybe I'm just thinking it was green. So I got a couple of each color and those will be going into my Easter tree as well. So I'm excited about using these. Look at that. Look at all that bling. I just love the pastel colors. I always have. I think they're just so pretty and really makes you look forward to like spring because I'm not a winter person. I'm really not. All right. That is it for Walmart. So if you noticed, the most expensive thing was what? Um, 98 cents? Not one item. No, I lied. I just totally lied. The chapstick was $1 even. So everything in that pile there, not one thing over a dollar. And that was all at Walmart. So just something to think about. Going to the Dollar Tree is all great. But now there's so much competition out there. Walmart's doing it. Target's got their bullseye doing it. A lot of stores are globbing on to that dollar. And I don't know about where all of you are in your specific locations, but I can tell you out here on the East Coast where I'm at and little birds that I have singing in my ears that are in the Dollar Tree business that um, Dollar Trees out here are going to become more than a dollar. And it seems like that's going to happen probably sooner than we think. Really don't want to see that happen because that's going to kiss Dollar Tree goodbye, in my opinion. I'm just saying that's what I think. I don't know for sure, but if you start going to Dollar Trees that are selling more than items that are just a dollar, then it's really not so fun to be a Dollar Tree anymore, is it? I didn't mean to be rude. I was just scooping. Because <clears throat> the whole point of going to Dollar Tree is to pay a dollar for everything. You start going into Dollar Tree like family dollar. I remember when my mom was alive. I love you and I miss you. And I would take her into Family Dollar. She would get confused because I was like, Mom, now remember, not everything is a dollar. She says, but it's Family Dollar. No, 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 no. Dollar General. No, you got more than a buck. So make sure you pay attention to those things. But all the other stores, there's lots of things that you can get for just the one dollar. You just have to look for them. Don't mean to be rude. Got to take a sip of my tea. This is that cup that's got that darn bee on there. I'm telling you, if you didn't hear about that story, it's in a couple videos ago. I'm still, I'm going to have to put some tape over it because I'm still freaking out and I should have never bought it. Because every time I look at it, I go, I think of that story now. That was such a hoot. Oh my God, to see them suckers fly out of my mouth. Hysterical. Alrighty, so let's move on. This part is going to be Dollar General. That's a store that's everything is more than a dollar and you can get some stuff too for a buck, but you know, you have a, a, a variation of prices. So Dollar General has a awesome section for Easter in my opinion. And I believe the most expensive item that's here in my whole pile, the most expensive item was $3. Everything else was a buck or under. All right, let's hit it. The first thing I picked up is sugar wafers, vanilla cream sugared wafers. This is actually Dollar General's brand. I've eaten their brand before and I've had no problem with it. This is an eight ounce package of the vanilla. I've bought these types of wafers at Dollar Tree, but I don't mean to be gross or anything or sound like a weirdo, but when I get the ones, I just hit the camera. When I get the ones from Dollar Tree, 
they they leave the roof of my mouth with that like waxy and that's got to be the vegetable oil or lard that they're using that gives you that waxy taste on the roof of your mouth i'm not sure if you guys know what i'm talking about but these for some reason they don't have that slimy stuff so these be yummy the other ones are slimy you stay away I mean, everyone's taste buds are different, but I don't know if you all know what I'm talking about. If not, you know, just fast forward past those parts. Okay. They had some garland, and it's called pom-pom garland, and it's so adorable. These measure four feet in length, and I have got these all messed up. Let me try to straighten them up a little bit. I had them in a bag. And you know how that goes. They sink to the bottom of the bag. And then before you know it, they're flying all over the back seat and then the trunk. These were a dollar each, four feet in length. And these balls are pretty big. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there was no other way to say it. These balls are pretty big. These measure an inch and a half in diameter. Oh, I'm going to hear about this one now. They measure an inch and a half in diameter. And you have all these pretty pesto covers. I have to try to recover now, you guys. Come on, don't crack me up too much. All right, so what I found was two... I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I needed that laugh so bad. There hasn't been a day that has gone by that I have not sobbed missing clue. And today has been a difficult day just like every other one and I really needed that laugh so if you guys know my sense of humor you know how I roll I mean no disrespect to anybody ever that's not me but I can be a silly one sometimes <laughs> just ask Patty Linda <laughs> and many others all right so I found two in this color absolutely adorable then I found this color which I thought was just as pretty this one's more pastel where this one you got a little bit more bling going on but I mean for a dollar Oy! okay moving on they also had some of these Easter foam decorations Dollar Tree has them too but the ones at Dollar Tree I was looking at them and they're kind of like cheesy this year I mean <laughs> I can't expect something to look like the Mona Lisa, which I've seen in person. And unfortunately, that thing is in sad shape. Um, it's been in sad shape. I've seen it twice and she's in sad shape. I don't know what kind of shape she's in nowadays. But squirrel, bread. Um, the Dollar Tree ones just weren't, I don't know, they weren't kicking it for me. So I was like, you know what? I can go somewhere else and get them for a buck. So Dollar General has them. And I think they just look a little fancier. So I got two packages. You get 10 in each package. So there's the first five. And then there's the second five. So I really like the colors. And again, if you're doing decorative um, and using any kind of poxies or any kind of foam and you're looking for something... These are perfect to stick in a couple of points, uh, I was gonna say poinsettias. Yeah, I'm already on Christmas now. Easter lilies, put a couple of those in an Easter lily. If you're going to someone's home, I don't know, you know, with the COVID thing, I don't know what anyone's doing or what's going on anymore. If you're celebrating, do whatever you wanna do that makes you happy, but use some of these just to add a little pop. Um, eggs, eggs. These were just adorable. I First of all, I love the way they package these in this little itty bitty. There's a specific name for this besides like a little pouch. But it's got like the little lacy ones that you could do for um, potpourri, things like that. This was $1. And these are mini eggs. But they're not super, super small. But yeah, they're an inch. So they're calling them mini eggs. You get 30 of them in there. Perfect for decorating for the holiday. You can put them right back here in the package for storing purposes. Perfect to put on full cupcakes or you could use them as ornaments on your tree. One dollar. Not bad at all. Then I jumped to, oh, actually I had another bag and these were also one dollar. You get 30 in here and these are speckled. 
So this is like a robin's egg. Actually, this is exactly what a robin's egg looked like. It's got that blue with the speckles. Not so much dark speckles like that. So the first bag I showed you was a glitter. Let me pull out. So the first one I showed you is glitter. The second ones are like just a flat foamy color. There's no bubbling. They've just got the dots on there, which still make them very pretty. Great for doing, maybe if you're gonna do a tiered tray and you're gonna do a little Easter nest, put a couple of those in your Easter nest, all different types of things. I did get one other package of eggs and these are just a little bit bigger. These were also $1, aren't they pretty? And these I wanna say are probably about two inches. Inch and three quarters, I was close. And you've got blue and peach and like a um, mint green, like mint green ice cream, mint chocolate chip ice cream, I should say. You have yellow and you have white. And they all have types of silver flakes. They're really, really pretty. Again, $1. This is the most expensive item out of this entire haul. And this was three dollars this is a peep made by the company peep there was no way how do i walk past something like this no way look oh my gosh is that adorable i love my peeps they're so cool so this one's pretty tall actually i was shocked to um see it for three dollars this is six and a half inches super super adorable just got a couple more things, three more things to show you from Dollar General, and that's gonna wrap up Dollar General. Now, Patty, if you're watching, run, or cover your face, because I don't wanna scare you. I've given you your warning, you've been warned. I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so perfect for tiered trays, or say you have only just a small area to do your decorating, they're seven inches, but they don't look seven inches. And the only reason they're seven inches is because the hat is kind of tall. Oh my goodness. So look at this. It's a little gnomey. They were $1 and there he is. Oh my gosh. Not so scary. Super cute. Look at his little bunny ears. So I found one in this cute mint green. I found another one in this blue, and there's the fabric on the blue one. And then I found one in pink, and let me fix her hair though. So here's the one in pink. I'm thinking she's a little girl because they have braids. So I was trying to figure out what was going on, and I'm looking at the hair, and then I figured out right here, there's like little, like if you had little ponies in your hair, so this one has braids. Isn't that adorable? That is so perfect. And if you didn't like this being so tall, very simple. Get some hot glue from your hot glue gun. Just put a little dab and knock it down. And you can either leave it bent over. You could always put a little pin in the back. Not a big deal, but super, I mean, for a dollar, that's adorable. It even has beans in its butt. They are flat on the bottom, so they will sit on a shelf very nicely. All right, that is it for Dollar General. Okay, I have a haul here now from a call. <laughs> Time for a sip of tea. I love my tea, but I have to have coffee during the day, and I usually save my tea for nighttime. What about all you guys? You guys drink your coffee? And it, well, I mean, I'll have a cup of coffee at nighttime every now and then. I'll have a, you know, a desire or a taste for coffee at nighttime, but not very often. I'm usually into my tea and cookies by evening time. Okay, Just A Buck is the name of this store. Just A Buck. Back home in Chicago, I know we got them. We have them out here. I really don't know where they are all over the country. That's something you would have to check out. I'm sure they do have a website you can order online. I don't know how much stuff you can order online, but 
I really like Just a Buck. Um, I've gone to them for a very long time. What I find about Just a Buck is I think because their stores tend to fly through their stuff quicker than the dollar store. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I went in Just a Buck one day. I went back the very next day to get one more of something and the whole entire display was completely gone already. So this store has a lot of traffic and I think probably what it is, is this particular store is inside of a strip mall that you have access to like a TJ Maxx, there's a Marshalls, there's a Home Goods, and you can walk through the stores and stay inside. So I think this particular store just gets a lot of foot traffic. And it's like right on the main entrance of one of the big department stores. So I think that's the reason why the stuff flies so quick. But when I'm out that way, I do diddly down through to see what I can find. And I found some such cute stuff I have to share. All right, I think I have just a couple Easter thingies and then the rest is just, well, you'll have to wait and see now. Okay, we have two Easter Bunny picks. These are really long. They're 14 inches in length and they're Easter eggs. There you can see them, one in pink and one in yellow. Now they have little sticks that kind of go up right there by their bottoms. I break the sticks off and what I do is I just stand them flat on their feet like that and I put them on my three tier trays, two tier trays and use them for decorations. Or you could stick it in that lily plant. See, I didn't say poinsettia. I almost did though. All righty. I then came across, and these are so cute, and this was kind of funny because the same day that I found this little one, well, I shouldn't say little one because that's a pretty good size. The same day I found this one, I was over at Just a Buck, and then I found these. I'm just getting the different colors out so I can share with all of you. I'm not trying to be rude by turning my head. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Baby peeps. So here's mama. Here's the babies. And I thought, oh my gosh, how perfect. And they're actual peeps. I mean, they're made by peeps. How perfect would these be to decorate in, I don't know, you could do these on tier trays. I don't know. I just love them to death. So I found yellow and they were all $1. I also found, let me get the tag out of the way here and get the, well, this one's got a little piece of stra I, I did get more than one of each. You guys know that by now. Um, there's the blue one and here's the peeps thing. It says right here. And it's funny because they were marked, one, well, here's the original price from Peeps itself was $3.99, which, no, they're not going to see that out of me. And then they had these tags marked for $1.50, and then, obviously, they're in just a buck, so you pay a dollar for them. So I got a couple in blue, and then, what did I show you? Yellow, blue, I thought I, here's my pink. And then pink. Oh man, I would have flipped out if they had purple. I don't think I've ever seen a small like this purple one, but that's just me. There they are. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I did get a few of each one because I think they're gonna be perfect for decorating anything, a mantelpiece, you know, a tiered tray. There's just, I was like, Whoa. doesn't take much to get me excited. It just depends on the Happy Meal toy at McDonald's, seriously. That's sad. That's sad. <laughs> what a cheap date I am. Okay. This item, I was surprised to see it just a buck. And the reason why was the first thing I noticed is there is a hallmark. Whoops. It would help if I showed you the right way, wouldn't it? There is a hallmark tag. Hallmark, brand name. You know, hallmark's fairly expensive in my opinion. This also has the hallmark tag right here. And it also has the original price. I, I got two of them. Let me see if you can see the original price. 
The original price is $6.95. There is no way in heck I'd be spending $6.95 for this, but a dollar? Oh yeah. All right, so let me fix it a little bit. So first we have a unicorn. -y! So it's a unicorn and it's got this tail that will come up a little bit. Obviously you wanna kinda, I will probably trim these tags here. I'm not sure if I'll leave that one or not. It depends. And then you have the unicorn mane. And then there's your unicorny. I can't believe this was $6.95 at Hallmark. That's crazy. And it's one of those snap bracelets, you know? Whoops, it didn't make a very good snap. Let me try that again. There you go. So now I'm ready. And not only did I get one, bring it on. I'm ready to rumble. <laughs> I thought they were so cute. I thought my niece back home in Chicago would get a kick out of that because she's at that age, you know, where she's getting into the makeup and the jewelry and it's like, Oy! all right. You all know how much I love my pens. I love my pens. Another obsession of mine. So I found some super cute pens. These are called Squish and Squeeze pens. Again, from just a buck. Everything's a buck here. And, oh my gosh, let me measure this because these are big. This measures nine inches and it is a pen. So it has a pen that has a cap. It's not a clickable. All these pens write in black. The first thing I want to show you is, well, first of all, this is wrapped all in plastic. First, I want to show you the pens are removable. You can put another pen in that hole if you wish. It takes a standard size pen if you want. You just don't want to use a clickable pen, obviously, because you can't hit the clicker if it's up its butt. Um, so I'm just saying is you can change your pen size. Now, look at this little face. It's like a long, it looks like a long john, but it's just got pink icing on it. And it's super, super squishy. And it's pretty slow rising too, but they are so soft. So I found this little guy. Um, actually, I got two of those. I thought these would be perfect for some friend mail. I found, hold on one second. This, I'm trying not to make too much plastic noise. I don't want to hear anyone yell at me. Oh, this one here is an ice cream cone. Not one, not two, but three scoops. Vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. How adorable. I mean, I love my pens, but oh my gosh. So, and the fact that you can change the pens out makes it even more. Because when you put the pen in there, it like grabs it because of the foam. I also found, so I found the, um, so I got two of that one and two of the donuts. I found a unicorny. They only had one. I wish they had two, but that's okay. Um, let me try not to get the plastic in the camera. There's the unicorny. Put it on its side. You can see it. So cute. How great would these be for an Easter basket? And then I found two other designs that I cannot share because they're a surprise for somebody. This is, I think, my favorite. <laughs> Wait till I show you. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. This one is so funny. Wait a minute. I'm trying to turn it around in the packaging so you guys can see it. Are you ready? It's probably buried somewhere. Hold on. I think you guys will get a huge kick out of it. Where in the world did it go? Oi. How can I have all this right in front of me? Where is it? I think it's the most funniest one I have. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I wasn't quite sure what it was when I looked at it at first, and then I realized what it was. Um, but I'm still not 100% sure, I guess. I'm not sure if it's a pickle or is it a cucumber? Is it a squash? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Is it a pickle? A cucumber?
cucumber or a squash. <laughs> All right, let's move on because I might not be able to recover from that one either. Woo! Okay, so these, if you watch my channel, you know that I love like little miniature things in certain things. I found these little kits. I don't know. I've never heard of this company before, so I have absolutely no clue. Um, it's called Happy Go Lucky, and it says Series 2 of 24, which I have no idea. They have these little plush. Let me open it up. Okay. So, oh my God, these are so cute. And the first thing I thought of was my, was my tiered trays. We have Super Chunk. We have Loafer. And then we have Jammy. So I, I mean, cut them out of the box real quick. So what they are, they're plushes. But they're miniature plush. So, oh my gosh, how cute. They got them all. Well, bear with me. I had my scissors to show y'all. So, look. Well, of course you'd cut your tags off. But first of all, there is your little jar. And it looks to me like it's peanut butter because that's a little nut right there. So, there's peanut butter. Hold up. And then what goes with peanut butter? Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. There's your jelly. Too cute, right? Let me give you a measurement. Let me find Rizzo's friend. Two inches. So they're not super small, but they're just perfect enough. So you've got peanut butter and jelly. And then you have your little piece of toast. Oh my gosh. These are so, so cute. They, I bet they're going to be gone. They're going to be gone. I bet if I went back tomorrow, they'd be gone. So... One more time, two inches. They are plush, made out of felt. They have flat bottoms, so they're gonna fit on any decorative, a table, anything like that. So we have peanut butter, we have jelly. So peanut butter, jelly, and then look at the little piece of toast. Oh my God. How adorable would this be on a tear tray? I know how adorable that's going to be on my tear tray. Oh my gosh, just too cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I found a couple other versions. I'm going to share them with you. Um, I can take the front plastic covering off, but I won't clip each one out just for time's sake. So I found the other one that I came across is Buzz, Roy, and Tom. And that's ketchup soy sauce and mustard is that cute and they're all two to two and a half inches in height um i then found this one which is sushi you have a fortune cookie look at him a piece of sushi like a sushi roll and then you have a little takeout box oh my gosh and the names here is to go go this one is Sue, and the next one is Whiskey Washi. There's the names above. Are these just adorable or what? Um, the next one, this one is Fizz, The Works, and Frenchie. Look, you got French fries and a little hamburger and then a drink. I don't know, man. I would I would love to know. I just looked at the bottom. Holy crap. There is no way that I would ever pay that kind of money. These are from Hallmark? And I'm just learning this now. Literally. I just looked at the bottom of the box. This is from Hallmark. Look at the retail manufacturer's price. $12.90. Who would pay $13 for that? I mean, not me. Holy cow. Okay, that's probably why they're flying. So let's move along. I also found these little vegetables. We have Colonel Cobb. We have Rudy and we have Ava. So we have an avocado, a carrot, 
and a piece of corn. I cannot believe these were 13 bucks each. That's insane. Um, peanut butter jelly. Did I didn't show you this one? This one here we have Lala, Jojo, and Platty. So we have Lala the koala. Lala the koala. We have Jojo the kangaroo. And then we have Platty the platypus. Right? Oh my gosh. Um, I think. That was all the designs. Peanut butter and jelly, ketchup and mustard, french fries, the veggies, the animals. I think, like, that's not enough, right? Those were the only ones. Let me just double check one more time. Yes. Okay. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just love this little peanut butter. Jelly. And I did get two of these, so it'll be like two little pieces of toast. How adorable is that? Just too, too cute. Okay, that is it for just a buck. Every item, one dollar. I think a lot of those items are better than some of the stuff at Dollar Tree. Not knock at Dollar Tree, I'm just saying. Other places also have things out there for under one dollar. All right. Three more items to show you, and then that's going to complete this shopping haul with all of you this evening. You all know how I love my nomies. Rolling with my homies, rolling with my nomies. But I found something that I didn't think I would ever find, especially in the nomie version. All right, so this little dude is too cute. I'm going to start right there. So first of all, look at the fluff. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to take it on up. Do, 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 do. Look, it's got like all these purple colors. This is a big one. And how do I keep losing my ruler? Seriously, you know, someone had mentioned I start sticking this stuff in my bun. All right, so I'm going to measure this dude 12, 20 inches tall, big old beans in the butt, but watch this. Let me see if I can get it in screenshot here. I don't know if you can see. Yep, that's pretty good. Watch this. You ready? Oh. Now, it looks really, really bright on camera, and it fairly is, but it's subtle it's not like crazy i can't let me see if i can reach my light hold on i got a whole pile of goodies behind me you see if i can't reach my light but <clears throat> i'm gonna try to hold it back like here it lights up so it has this little battery pack that you open in the back <clears throat> this is just the tester one that came with it for testing it again there is whoops there's your price on it right there is that adorable or what? I thought, you know, this could be left out all year long. This is not like, to me, that could go, actually it would be perfect for this room, but this room's being changed. But I thought you could leave this out or I could leave this out all year long. So I thought that was a cool find. And then I came across this ceramic jar and it is by the Carrot Patch Cottage. It came from Marshalls, $6.99. The jar itself is ceramic. It measures five inches all the way around. And it has gnomies. Super cute. Let me bring it in nice and close so you guys can get a good look. So they're so adorable. And not only are they on the front, but bam, they're on the back. It's got this really pretty robin egg blue you open it up and it's got the seal, oh, is really tight. It's got a tight fit. There's your inside. There's your rubber seal. As you saw, it fits pretty darn tight. So cute. Oh, I could not pass that up. Absolutely adorable. And then, last item to share with all of you tonight. This is also from Marshalls. There is your amount. 
and oh my gosh, this is so, so cute, and it smells so good. Actually, I don't even know what the scent is. Um, I know it smells good when I sniffed it. What is the scent? It's not going to tell me? Oh my gosh. I don't remember. Jelly beans. That's what it was. So here is your candle. It's got this topper that like looks like that, which I usually put it on the bottom of these types of candles. And then let me turn this around and show you what is on the front. Hold on. And it really fits nice too and secure. And that really smells good. Gnome time like springtime. Ah, look at that. Look at this little dude over here. This big one. So what it, it's just a regular glass candle, but this is a wrap. Um, it's not painted. It's an actual plastic wrap that actually wraps around the candle. See, there's a part there where the lid fits over. It's just a plastic wrap. So be careful if you're interested in getting one of these. Make sure that, you know, either the candle itself covers that wrap like mine does. I mean, if you don't care, then you don't care. Me, I'm just picky like that. But so adorable. Made in the USA right there on the bottom. And that is that. Let me know what you thought. What do you think about some of the other stores now having items that are a dollar or less? I think that's a great idea. Just want to make you more aware. I'm sure you're already aware, but if you weren't, hopefully you are now. All right, everybody, I need a cup of tea, which I have over here, but it's getting a little cold. Going to go heat it up, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I have some. I almost forgot. Where did I put them? I have to pick the winner for the set of Nomi's for Easter. Dirt, total, total brunette moment. I guess you'll have to look for me later tonight to see who won. Bye. See you next time, everyone. Thanks for watching.